So I finally got around to retaking the inventory of my comics to prep them for sale. And I wanted to put together a quick video to share what I learned about poly bags. To make a long story short, those collectors who are more savvy than myself would know that the proper way to store your comics is to remove them immediately from the poly bag and to store them properly in the proper sized bag and board. So thereby, if you know that, you could just skip this video. But if you want to find out why and what I learned, watch on. Still with me? Okay, back in the 90s, you probably realized there was a glut of these kind of comics that came with these bags. And sometimes with a collector card in there, thereby giving one the perception that, wow, this is going to be a collector's item. But they were some of the most mass overproduced comics. And thus, not really worth much nowadays, even some decades later. Now, the main reason why you would want to promptly remove your comics is because I have foolishly thought that it would increase the value. But as a matter of fact, I couldn't be more wrong. First off, the plastic is made out of some kind of chemical that, as you can see, is yellowed over time. And that chemical can potentially leach into the comic, thus degrading it chemically. Second of all, as you can see, there's this crease here on the bag itself that gets imprinted onto the comic over time. Nearby, you can see that running down the back exactly where that crease was. Not to mention the card itself also left its own crease somewhere around there where it was sitting, as you could see in that line there. So even though I had stored these standing straight up and down, but you could see the damage is done. Thus, if you have any of these lying around that perhaps it's not too late to save, you would want to take them out promptly from the poly bag, store them properly in the proper size bag and board. These are BCW's moderns and then put the card on the back side so it doesn't further create a new indent somewhere else or just simply store them separately in a dedicated card holder box, just noting down which card belongs with which comic in case there's a collector that wants that. But bottom line, what I further learned is that if this was a comic worth sending to CGC, when they get it in the poly bag, they would remove it from there to do the grading, re-slab it. So thus, these poly bags are meaningless and do not contribute to the value of the comic whatsoever. It's only the grading of the comic itself that counts. And to be honest with you, the only benefit it truly served is, like I said, it gave the perception of a collector's item, thereby one would be enticed to purchase two copies, one to open and read, the second one to retain away for either spectating or for collecting. So if I had the capability to go back in time and tell my younger self, I would be like, hey, look, remove that from the poly bag and make sure you stored it away properly. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks again for tuning in.